In this video, I will show you a nifty method to make data entry easy in Excel using dependent drop down list. Hey there, everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Excel is one of the most used software tools to gather and analyze data. However, Data entry can be a very time consuming process and is prone to errors. It is always better to make data entry as easy and foolproof as possible. Here is a table showing various places. The details in this table are continent, country and city. We can go about by doing individual drop down lists for each column, but it is not the most efficient or foolproof way. For example, I can select the continent as Asia and country as USA, which is not correct. It would be great in this case that the options for country are based on the continent selected. This is possible using dependent drop down list. To execute dependent drop down list easily, we need to have our data structured in a specific way. Our table needs continents, countries and cities. So here in cell F4 to F7, I have the continents. From H4 to J7, I have the countries under each continent. And in cell F13 to N18, I have the different cities for each country. The most important point you need to note here is that the name of the continents should match the header of the countries table and the name of the countries should match the header of the cities table. Both the spellings need to match, otherwise this technique will not work. Now, our first step is to make all this data as tables. So let's select a cell in our first data table which is of continents and then format it as a table. Let me just choose blue color and select my table as headers say ok. I am going to name this table as continents. Similarly let's select a cell within the countries data table and again format it as a table. Let's choose this color now again my table as headers say OK and I'm going to call this countries. Let's select a cell in our city data table. Again format it as a table. Just going to choose this color now. Automatically the complete range is selected. Say OK and I'm going to name this as cities. OK. So our first table is called continents. The second table as countries and third table as cities. Now let's format our data entry table also as a table. Format it as a table and just going to choose this color. My table as it does say OK. Now let's go ahead and make the drop down list. Why we've chosen to make all our data sets as tables is to keep this formula really dynamic so that future additions will be taken care of. So let's begin by putting a drop down list for our continent column. Either we can select all the cells in that column or you can hover at the header of that table and just click once and the complete column is selected. Then we go to the data tab, go to data validation and here we put the validation criteria as a list. Let me just move this window a bit. At the source we type in the formula where we need to refer this range for this column as drop down list. So here we type in the formula equal to, let me type it well, indirect of, in double quotes now we need to enter the range which is going to be the table name, continents, open a square brackets and the header name which is continent. Close the square brackets, double quotes and close the formula and say OK. Now we see that our continent is going to have the drop down list based on our continent table. There we are done with the first column which is a simple drop down list. Now our goal is to have drop down list of country dependent on the continent we selected. That is if we select Africa, we want these three options to come in our country drop down list. If we select North America, we want these three. To do this, we can use the indirect function again. So now let's go to the country column out here. 
select the complete column go to data validation again choose list now let me just go down a bit out here okay the country column should have options based on our country's table so let's put in a formula just for the country africa because that's the first chosen continent so i'm going to put in the formula equal to indirect of put in double quotes our table name which we named it countries open the square brackets and i'm going to pick africa let me just close the double quotes and close the formula and say okay so that now we have just africa selected from a complete countries table so let me again select the column go to data validation and instead of africa let me choose asia and say okay now my options will have all the asian countries great now we can do the dependent drop down list if you can link the drop down list formula to the adjacent cell so let's go to data validation and since the formula is written here we need to substitute the country name which is asia here to the respective cell let's say b5 to begin with so all we need to do now is to make the formula so here since it's a text we need to replace the country name with the cell value of b5 note that i'm not using fixed cell references that is dollar b dollar 5 because i want each row of country to be dependent on its own continent if i fix the cell reference b5 the complete country column will be based on what we choose in the cell b5 as continent so let me just remove that but if we execute this now it's going to say that this source is currently evaluating to an error because there is no header called b5 in our country table so the right way is to join the text of b5 to this formula to do that you need to first put in double quotes from countries up to square brackets put an and symbol and then we add the text of cell b5 after that again concatenate it with the square brackets closing let me just put spaces so that you can easily visualize this that and just say okay now since we chose in africa our options will be based from the african continent as you chose in north america here our options are going to be the north american countries so if i choose asia now i will have the asian countries great and the same thing we can now do with cities so let me just select this column go to data validation again use list and in this source we are going to type in the formula of indirect of our cities table is called cities open the square brackets close the double quotes and concatenate it to the cell value c5 make sure to remove the fixed cell reference and concatenate it with the square brackets and close the formula and just say okay so now the nigerian cities are lagos abuja and ibadan so those are the options we get here for canada we get the canadian cities and again for india we get indian cities the advantage of structuring our data as table is to make this dynamic so if you add another continent let's say oceania automatically in our continent list we will have the option oceania but in data validation that's going to be nothing because we haven't entered any information for that continent and that is really simple to add because excel will automatically add that data to the table so I'm going to add some countries okay so now in our country options we get both Australia and New Zealand 
and similarly if I add the cities here we can now get the city as option. Dependent drop-down list can be really useful especially when you have large amounts of data. You can ensure foolproof data entry and by using tables as your data source you can always ensure that the drop-down lists are going to be dynamic and up-to-date. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.